this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using the Chunky Stylecraft yarn and for this particular yarn it tells you to use a 6mm crochet hook. So just make sure you check the label to see what size hook you need for your particular yarn. So as I say I'm using a 6mm crochet hook. You will need some scissors and a darning needle just to sew in your... To begin you want to make your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. Insert your hook and we're going to start off by doing a chain. So you can adapt your projects however you want, uh, but you want to chain multiples of eight and then add seven onto the end. So it'd be yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. That's four. Um, so as I say, you want to do five, six, seven and eight so you want to do multiples of eight until you get to the length that you want and then you want to add seven more so go ahead and pause the video work to your chain whichever you want if you're making a blanket you can lay your chain down um, on the floor or on the bed wherever you're making your blanket to get the size of what you want so pause the video and I shall meet you back in a moment so I've just done my chain I've done two multiples of eight plus seven just because this is a sample piece but this would make a really good size for a cowl or a scarf. So what we're going to do now is do some treble crochet all the way along this chain. So remember that's treble crochet in the UK, in the US this is known as double crochet. So we're actually going to skip two chains to begin with, skip this chain and this chain and we're going to do our first treble into the third chain from the hook. So it's yarn over, insert into that third chain, grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have three loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through, you'll have two loops on the hook and then grab the yarn and pull it through again and you'll be left with one loop on the hook. And this first row is just going to consist of one treble into each chain along your foundation chain so it's a really easy row to do so if you want to go ahead and pause the video and work your way along your foundation chain and I shall meet you back at the end I'm now at the end of my row and I've done one treble into each of those chain spaces we're now ready to start the actual pattern. So you're going to go ahead and chain two and then turn your work. Now, when we're working along this pattern, we're going to be working into what's called the front post and the back post. When I say front post, what it means is that you put your hook around the back like this of the actual post of the stitch. And if I say back post, it means that the hook goes around the back of the stitch, just like this. So that will make sense um, a little bit more as we move along. So first of all, we're going to do trebles into the front post of the next four stitches. So we're ignoring this very first stitch here, and we're working in around this second one here. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook underneath that stitch. So this is called front post treble. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through. So you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So it's exactly the same as a normal treble. We're just going around the front post rather than into the chain space. So again, we're going to yarn over and do another treble into that post, the front of that post. So that's our second stitch and we're going to go ahead and do two more. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And then once more. So we have our four front post trebles just here. 
We're now going to do four trebles again, but this time we're going to work into the back post. So this one can be a little bit more tricky. What you want to do is yarn over and then your hook comes around the back of that stitch, like so. You grab the yarn and pull it through. So you have three loops on the hook as normal. Grab the yarn, pull through two, and grab the yarn and pull through two. So what that means is it actually pulls the um, stitch backwards and it creates that ribbed effect on the work. So again, we're going to do three more of those. So yarn over, insert the hook around the back of the post, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We'll do two more. Make sure that you are not skipping any stitches, which can be easy to do. So make sure you take your time and work around the correct post. So that is our four back post trebles. We are then going to do another four front post trebles. So around the front of the post, four times. And last one. And if you haven't guessed already, we're then going to do four back post stitches. Same stitch, just around the back of the post. One. Two. three and four. So the reason I get you to do an extra seven chains on top of the um, multiples of eight that you've just done is so that we always end on the same as what we've begun with. So it makes it um, even. So you'll end up with the four front post stitches if that makes sense. So once you're ready you want to go ahead and do your last four front post stitches. Obviously if you've done a bigger piece this is going to take you longer but this is just a sample piece for me so I'm going to go ahead and finish off this round. So once you've done your last four front post stitches. You should end up with your chain three from this very, uh, from your last round. So you want to um, do a half treble into this stitch. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. So that is known as a half double in the US. We're then going to chain two and turn our work and what we're going to do this time is continue to build that pattern so it looks the same from the front. Obviously we're looking at the back at the moment. So what we do is as you're looking at these here they actually look like they're back post crochets but remember we're looking at the back. So we're going to back post in the front post from the previous round. So it would be yarn over and insert your hook. So do four back post crochets, treble crochets. And then four front post 
treble crochets. That's two, three, and four. And you're simply going to repeat that all the way along. So as they appear of back post crochets, you again do the back post and then front post, back post. Work your way along and I shall meet you at the very end and then I'll show you how to do your next row. I'm now at the very end and again you should notice that you have one last treble at, from the previous row. So you want to do a half treble crochet into that stitch. Remember in the US that is half double and you're going to chain two and turn. So now what you should have is a nice texture to your pattern and what we're actually going to do is make the actual pattern of the basket weave now. So we're going to do opposites. So what you can see here is your front post trebles. So what we're going to do is work for back post trebles. So it would be yarn over, insert around the post, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Two, sorry, three, and four. And now we're going to do four front post crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then you would do um, back post, and front post so you just repeat the same thing all the way to the end pause the video and I'll meet you back at the end of this row and I'll show you what to do for the next row I'm now at the end of this row and again I'm going to do a half treble into that um, last stitch I'm going to chain two one and two and this is actually our fifth row but this is the fourth um, row in the four row pattern repeat so for this row we're going to start off with four front post stitches so one two three and four and then we would move on to our four back post stitches or back post trebles. Three and four. And you would repeat that all the way to the end. So go ahead, pause the video, meet me back, and I shall show you what to do to finish off. So this is what it looks like with a few more rows added. I've then just done a row of treble crochet along the top just to finish off the work. You would just want to yarn over and pull through and just snip off your yarn to finish off and pull that out and then you would just sew in um, the ends to finish off your project. I really like the uh, look of this. If I was to do a scarf I think I would probably use a bigger hook 
maybe even an 8 or up to a 10 just so it's not so um, firm but um, I love the way this has turned out if you like this video please give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time bye